Royal. Have you met Patty before? I have. No. Well, you better have a seat and watch Patty because what she's going to give you is only super. Very nice meeting you. All the best to you. Thank you. <laughs> to everybody, thank you. I'm going to leave the stage and say a special thank thanks to you. You've been thank fantastic. You. I'm in love with you. Thank you. Pleasure working with you. Thank you, everybody. Bon appétit. Thank you. Who's the one with the mic? Yeah. That's going to be on eBay tonight. Oh, God, I missed that. <laughs> I, I just get ready now. Oops, sorry. Let me give you a little bit of that. The other thing I do with this cassava green is put my fish cakes with it. And it doesn't soak up the oil, but it gives it a really lovely crunch. I hope your taste buds are waiting for this. Can I need you to do this? Two heaps. Right. <laughs> right, I'm going to chop up my onion. Now, for our tomato sauce, it's onion, chilies, and garlic. That's the holy trinity of ingredients, we call it. Okay? So, God, how different onions are. Look at that one. Look at that. Exactly, sorry. That way, that, it's a much better way. Much, much better. Yeah. Yes. Much better. <laughs> I want them slightly thinner than that, so I'll reduce that. So that's a mandolin, isn't it? Is a mandolin. That, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that they're just superb. Yes. For anything, you know, for cucumber, that's right, for apples. Yes. You know, in the summer, I made these gorgeous apple drinks. Mm. I just sliced red apples for the mandolin. Right, yes, the, yes, you know, yes. And you, yeah, you just get a much juice, better, beautiful. even, like even yeah. um, cut. So, yeah, yeah. Right, okay, I think I've got enough onion here. Wow. So what do you think so far? Fantastic. And the taste? Good? Is it good? Lovely. Yeah, really Delicious, eh? Hey? Dave? Really good. Yeah. It? What about Simone? Give Simone one. Simone, you need to taste Oh, well, I will. Yes, yes, I will. I'd love some. Yes, thank you. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit of rapeseed oil in there. Rapeseed oil? That's a little bit in the bottom, just to coat the bottom of the pan. Mm. Yeah, tasty? That's good. Mm. Right, so my onions, yeah, that's nice and hot. My onions go straight in there. Oh, I, I, love, I love that sound in the kitchen, that sizzle. You think things are beginning to happen now. Would you like to um, so can you, you take this round? Show everyone, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so can you buy them here? Can you get them anywhere? There's nothing you can't get in this country now. Nothing. Good, good. Especially London. If you're in London, right, yeah, yeah, go to yeah. the markets, Afro-Caribbean shops, Asian food shops, right. the internet. Right, yeah, Fantastic. yeah, yeah. Perfect. I bring bags of them back from when I go to Ghana. Right. I always bring that with me. Mm. <laughs> And the other thing I'm going to add, you probably haven't had, is dried prawn powder. Ever use that? Anyone else? Did you say prawn? Prawn. Oh my goodness. Prawn powder. Dried prawn powder. Oh. That actually smells really interesting. Really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually it's, it smells like Do you know what someone it said does, to me yes, while yes. I was doing it? Said, oh, it looks like something I've smelled in the, in the pet shop. <laughs> <laughs> no. It is beautiful. It is what gives it that... Did I say quite, you don't quite know what it is that makes you want it, you know. This is it. So I'm going to be generous and put quite a bit in there. You want to pass this on to everybody? Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my son, by the way. <laughs> my baby. Prawn powder, darling. A bit more oil for that. Oh, that's delicious. Wow. Yeah. That, 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 that. Smells delicious. I think. Um, now, I'm not going to put any salt in here because I'm using salt fish, smoked haddock, and bacon. That's all quite salty. The salt fish is just hot. This been air dried. So I soak that up with a bit of water. Or just put in a glass, a bit of hot water. Get rid of some of the salt, not all of it, because you need that salt. You need that, sit, you know, that flavor in there. Pass that round, so while, while I do the plantain, you can be tasting this. Okay, John. Cheers. 
Okay, young man. There you go. <laughs> So I get a slice of the plantain to show you. This is a yellow ripe plantain. And <laughs> just a bit hotter, I think, so that we can just turn it off when we're, when we're ready. Now, you can't peel. People say, somebody said to me once, oh, I thought that was a wooden banana. This is green I, and hard. I didn't want to embarrass myself, but I thought it was a banana. <laughs> You can't peel this like you would a banana. That's the difference. You've got to cut. And with this, when you're peeling this, you can peel it under the running tap because it's quite starchy, you know, so it washes your hands and everything at the same time. Yeah. Has anybody got any questions? No questions. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe you. Do, do you do any pop up restaurants anywhere? I do indeed. <laughs> it wouldn't be a carpenter by the there. <laughs> Somebody's been talking to you. <laughs> yeah, in Harpenden, on Station Road, in a place called Rowling's Wine. It's a wine shop. And I went to a fashion show. A friend of mine had a fashion show, and she said, Cassie, I'll give you a table. Bring your books and bring some food. So I did just that. And while I was serving up, this woman came up from the wine shop, bought me some wine, tried some of my food, and said, if you can do a three-course supper, we'll match six wines to your food. Fantastic. I've been doing it for two and a half years. We don't even advertise. Mm. And once a month. I cook this food, take it into the cellar with all the wine staring at us. Yeah. And the Wonderful. guests come. And when people come in to buy wine, I hear them going, oh, What's that smell? And so Patty's doing her supper. So they put their name down for the next one. So it's, it's, a lot, very, it's, it's like it's a, a lot of fun. Exclusive supper club. Yeah, really. like a supper club. It's uh -huh. brilliant. Yeah, you know, some people, it's for eight people at a time. You can bring friends as a group or right. you can book with just a yeah. friend and other people you know you make friends with other people who are there that oh, night yeah and learn something at the same time yeah, yeah. yeah brilliant how do we know when it's on Patty? how do you know what, what dates and so on sorry what dates are they are there dates that you have certain dates? dates my website i'll give you business cards and then you can just take a look at the website and facebook i put it all up there i'll give you business cards <laughs> <laughs> he's working at love <laughs> and he's <laughs> If anybody and that is it my friends so happy you came thank you so much patty that was great have you all enjoyed enjoyed your tasters and i'm sure we'll get to have a little taste of this will we good what did you think of the, the pudding the plantain pudding fantastic no sugar no butter no eggs incredible isn't it yes. and it's an alternative christmas pudding